welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about construction and working of horizontal boring machines so let us start with the introduction so boring is the process of enlarging the hole and locate a previously made hole with the help of single point cutting tool so in that case of the boring operations onto the boring machines single point cutting tool is being adopted for enlarging the hole so in addition to primary purpose or you can use the enlarging previously made holes a boring machines can be used for drilling facing milling operations so you can also performing the drilling facing and milling onto the boring machine so the boring machine is used to bore holes in a large and heavy jobs such as engine frames steam engine cylinders machine housings and many more generally which are not possible to hold and rotate in an engine lathe or a drilling machines so now we will see the principle of boring operations so just you can concentrate over here that will be the work piece which are already drilled so here it will be the rotating bore tool that will be fit against the stationary workpiece so the single point cutting tool is fixed at the one end one at the end of the tool and that will be fit against the workpiece so according to the positioning of the tool and workpiece that will be used for enlarging the existing hole into the workpiece materials so now the tool rotates within a stationary workpiece and it is fed axially in order to cut the metal for enlarging the already made holes into the workpiece so in simple way boring machine is used to enlarging the existing hole diameter now classification of the boring machines so basically horizontal kind of boring machines so that will be including as the floor type planer type and multiple head type second vertical boring machines so in the case of the vertical boring machine standard vertical boring mills vertical turret lathes vertical precision boring machines and the third one and that will be the jig boring machines so in the case of jig boring machines planer type and vertical milling machine type of jig boring machine so you can also say that precision boring machine so in this video i am only talking about a horizontal boring machine so in case of the horizontal boring machine the main spindle which is responsible for the required cutting operation in a horizontal positions so the workpiece is supported on a table which is stationary and the tool revolves in a horizontal axis so in addition to the horizontal boring machines can performing rimming operations generally that will be used for finishing a existing hole then turning threading for making a threads facing milling grooving with the suitable tools work piece which are heavily irregular unsymmetrical as well as bulky can be easily held and machine on to the horizontal boring machines so generally the tool axis that will be horizontal and the tool is being rotated and work piece is a stationary part so just you can see the horizontal boring machines so on to the boring shaft that will be attaching the tool and that will be the workpiece now we will see the construction part of the horizontal boring machine so just you can see over here and uh, main parts of the bore horizontal boring machines so starting with the bed so the bed that will be just you can see 
the supports the column as well as table and other parts of the horizontal boring machines so that will be considering as a main frame or can say main structure of the horizontal boring machines so it is having a box type of castings so that will be supporting all the assembly of the horizontal boring machine so that will be having a good rigidity as well as good strength or impact strength because that will be resisting the all the cutting force as well as thrust force being generating during the cutting operations now second one and that will be headstock so just you can find the headstock so it provides drives as well as feed to the tool so all the operating you can handle every kind of motions speed of the spindle speed of the cutters by the application of head stocks so head stocks moves up and down onto the column for setting the tool for the various height of the jobs so you can easily positioning of your cutter to the workpiece material so that will be the important part of the horizontal boring machine now next and that will be head stock supporting column so just you can see that will be the supporting member to the head stock because that will be the heart of the horizontal boring machine so in case of the supporting column it provides the support to the head stock for guiding the guide weights onto the face of the column so according to your shape and size of the workpiece that will be adjusted then next one and supporting columns so just you can see over here that will be indicating as and supporting column and it is situated at the end of the bed and houses the bearing blocks for supporting a long boring bar so that long boring bar it will be including with the boring cutters so this boring bar it will be rotated and that will be connected with the boring cutter so cutter is being rotated inside the workpiece to enlarging the existing diameter of the materials then yes you can see the saddle and the table so saddle and table so it supports the workpiece as well as hence provides with the t slot for clamping the workpiece then saddle can move longitudinally onto the bed and the table can crosswise onto the saddle so basically with the help of head stock column and saddle and table you can easily positioning of your boring cutter with your workpiece material so on to the help of the saddle and table that will be workpiece is resting resting on to that and according to the height of the column it will be easily positioning with the tool materials then next boring bars so generally boring bars it supports the cutter for boring operations on to the workpiece having a large boring diameters the boring bar serves to transmit the power from the boring machine spindle to the cutter as well as to hold it tightly during the operations so that will be supporting to the boring cutters in between head stock and and supporting column then some of the advantages disadvantages and application of horizontal boring machines so let's start the advantages horizontal boring machine is uh, having a wide range of the speed and feed due to the large variety of the cutters most versatile boring machine it can handle medium to large size part which cannot be deals with the drilling machines so that will be one kind of disadvantages of drilling machines and that will be answering by the horizontal boring machine disadvantage is so workpiece having a greater diameter or width cannot be handled onto the horizontal boring machine 
than the applications. The horizontal boring machines is used in the heavy duty industry machines for roughing out the large components. Then boring and milling of the V engine blocks. So if you like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you very much.